Sometimes, you might want even more control over the functionality of your app. Just like you learned in JavaScript, using parameters can help further specify the flow of a program. Thus far, users have had the option to input information into the app through buttons. We have used buttons to call functions using the onPress event. We will continue using the button to call in functions and use the buttons to pass in a parameter to the function itself. In this example, the first thing to notice is the state of the app has background to display set to empty quotes initially. This just means there won't be anything to render when the app runs at first. Next, there is a conditional block on the left inside of the function select background. However, in this function, there is a parameter defined in the first set of parentheses which have been empty before this. We are defining the function with a parameter, time of day, to be passed in when the function is called. The conditional block is now checking if the time of day parameter is equal to morning or evening to render one of two backgrounds and will update the state to a new image URI. On the right, the touchable highlight component triggers an onPress event, which calls the select background function. In this case, it is also passing in morning for the parameter to be checked. In the actual app, there is another touchable highlight component, except that one passes in the parameter evening. Now it's your turn to explore this example and learn more about how parameters work with conditionals.